Hello everybody. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Uh, please subscribe if you like and please click the like button if you like. <laughs> and if not, that's okay too. You just come back and visit whenever you want to. You betcha. Well, former President Donald Trump's youngest daughter, Tiffany, was married. Beautiful wedding. Beautiful. Recently at his Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida last week. While photos of the bride and groom, Michael Bulas, I think that is the way it's pronounced. It's B-O-U-L-O-S. Bulas. And the uh, venue revealed an elegant event. Plenty of Trump's political foes used the opportunity to disparage key members of the wedding party. Now that's spelled D-I-S-P-A-R-A-G-E. Disparage key members of the wedding party. Not quite sure what that means, but... Trump's, uh, or Tiffany's Trump's stepmother, former First Lady Melena Trump, attracted criticism for wearing an off-white gown to a ceremony. Now this is a wedding. It's your daughter getting married. And people got to make a, a stink about it? I mean, goodness. I think that lady can wear what she'd like to wear to a wedding, or her daughter's wedding, anybody's wedding. Why throw fit about it? Childish. Isn't that childish? To me, it's childish. Oh, well, okay. Late night talk show host shared jokes at the family's expense, including Jimmy Fallon, who said, and there was a special moment when Trump was like, well, if I'm giving kids away, will someone take Don Jr.? Perhaps the most widely panned, P-A-N-N-E-D, panned, C-R-I-T-I-Q-U-E Criticule came from political commentator Anna Navario, a co-host of ABC's The View. I never did care for The View. No, I never did. Sharing an image of the bride and her bridesmaids in their pastel-colored dresses, she compared the appearance to that of a container of candies. That's, that's not right. That, that's not right. The tweet prompted an array of, array of critical responses, including several that stooped to Navario's level by attacking her appearance. Childish. Several of the disproving responses, however, denounced her use of a wedding to score cheap political points. Yeah. And that don't make her look good at all, does it? No. Picking on the bride of a wedding, it's her special day. Boy, people can be so cruel. It's un unbelievable. Con uh, conservative writer Chad Felix Green, for example, tweeted, People don't realize how small, petty, and bitter they reveal themselves to be when they do this over the celebrations of political rivals. One right-wing podcaster wounded, wondered why a grown woman would share such an immature post. Childish. Adding, this makes you sound like a harpy. Pastel colors are and always have been in a lot of weddings. They make a beautiful wedding. You know, you don't like it, so don't choose it for your wedding. Correct. Mother of the bride's dresses and sister's are all flattering. It, it was beautiful. Yes, it was. Despite the partisan attacks, it seemed clear that guests enjoyed themselves on Saturday, including the former president, who was seen offering a toast and dancing with his daughter. And they've got the video right here, but I can't put it in my... I don't know how to do that yet. And it seems like I can't get no help, because I don't understand half of what I read when you go to these sites that are supposed to tell you what to do and how to do it, but they go through it so fast, it's like they're on a, a racetrack. You know, <laughs> they need to learn to slow down, but they're young. 
I'm slow because I'm old, but I enjoy it. <laughs> Michael, you better take care of her, Donald Trump told the groom during his toast. No doubt you are a special person and you are way beyond your years. I've seen him dealing with very big people. You are just two spectacular people, and this was a beautiful day. As for the fact that the inclement weather missed the venue, he added, I think it's em emblematic, emblematic of you and your life, and we are very proud of both of you. Have a great life together. I think that's awesome. Wedding days are very special. You know, it, it's terrible that people have to be so negative over a positive situation. It's just unreal. All right. Let's go on. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. And I've got a desktop full here. Uh, Mike Lee wins re-election as Utah Senator. Uh, in Utah, Senator Mike Lee, Republican of Utah, ran a fierce campaign to keep representing the state in Congress. Challenging Lee was Evan McMullins, a self-proclaimed independent. Despite McMullen billing himself as an independent with bipartisan support, there were many aspects of his campaign that gave voters pause. For one thing, McMullen was heavily backed by the Democrat Party. Another tell tale sign, McMullen also used left-wing ven venues in order to raise money for his campaign. Lee, on the other hand, won the support of most conservatives. Um, this matters big time, seeing as Utah is a reliable red state. Reliably a red state. As many expected, Tuesday's elections resulted worked in Lee's favor. A win for Lee's campaign, the Utah Senator's success ensures that he will serve another six-year term in Congress. Lee prevailed over McMullen, despite the latter repeatedly spreading lies and conspiracy theories about him. <clears throat> Stab him in the back. It's uncalled for. That is so childish. You know... I've said that word so much, now I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> when Lee debated McMullen, the self-proclaimed independent repeatedly, repeatedly tried to bill Lee as radical and out of touch. Voters in Utah are able to see through it and determine that Lee's values are more aligned with their own. In a statement following his victory, Lee thanked all the people of Utah who came out and voted for him. In doing so, the GOP senator likewise confirmed that he will continue working for the people of Utah and making sure their voices are heard. Conservatives across the United States also poured in their congratulations and well wishes to Lee. McMullen concedes, as McMullen failed to win his election, many eyes were on him. Americans were eager to see if McMullen would accept the results of this race. Taking to social media, the defe defeated candidate announced that he called Leo, Lee to concede and congratulate him on securing a third term in the Senate. Third term. Furthermore, McMullen expressed his true hope that Lee remains faithful to the Constitution. The Independent then wrapped up his remarks on social media by thanking Utah voters who did support his campaign. McMullen like other defendant candidates who ran against Republicans, then expressed that the fight remains ongoing. Lee's victory over McMullen comes amid hard work by conservatives to take back the Senate. Congratulations. Congratulations, actually, to all the winners of the midterm elections. And uh, I will say I am so happy for Trump. And I was just praying that he would run for the 2024 election. So let's cross our fingers and hope that during, in between these next two years, 
that tragedy doesn't strike us as Biden would like. Okay, I'll be back. Later.